Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. Now, a couple days ago, I made a video talking about what we can expect from this year's anniversary event. Because in case you guys don't know, the anniversary event is the next scheduled event for Overwatch, and it is going to be dropping later on in May. And the whole point of this event is to obviously celebrate the birthing of Overwatch, celebrate the past year of Overwatch, which was basically nothing. <laughs> of course to give some skins that we're going to surely simp over for the next year or so which is what today's video is going to be looking at our potential anniversary skins for our favorite heroes in overwatch now surprisingly there are a good handful of heroes that still haven't received their first legendary anniversary skin they might have gotten an epic one but i know there are some heroes that already have two legendary anniversary skins but the ones that don't even have one are widowmaker sombra reinhardt mora echo batiste and anna and i tell you this all because I feel like for the anniversary event, this is the one event where they have an open opportunity to make any kind of skin for any hero because there is no theme. So why not make some skins for heroes that still don't have an anniversary skin? And Symmetra, because she hasn't received a skin in about two years. <laughs> Which I guess I can have some sympathy for all five Symmetra mains out there and start the video off with a Symmetra skin idea. Now again, you guys have to remember, the anniversary event doesn't really have a theme, but rather just cool looking skins. So when I found this fan-made skin for Symmetra in her carnival skin, I fell in love with it because, surprisingly, it kind of fits Symmetra's personality. She kind of seems like this low-key party animal, but is always supposed to be so serious because, er, I, I'm part of the Vishkar organization, and I'm so smart, and I need a you know what I mean? But other than my assumptions, Symmetra has always been a very elegant person. She always presents herself very well, whether it's her professional attire or even her cultural attire. She's always Always here for a good time looking good and looking beautiful so if we're gonna reintroduce Symmetra back into the public eye and make people remember hey we got a very beautiful Indian woman that deserves some skin love then what about carnival for the party event for overwatch it makes sense it ties into the very loose theme if you even want to call it that for the anniversary event plus it looks cool the blue the greens and the yellows that fade into each other and then the feathery hat ah she looks good man <laughs> oh but you want to know what looks even hotter a strong independent woman that don't need no man in a biker jacket N no just me all right well how do you guys feel about biker widowmaker um but Bernie Wack, we already have Biker Farah. Yeah, and before that, we even had Biker Torbjorn, but I didn't see y'all crying when y'all was sipping over Biker Pharaoh. So sit down. We need more women in black leather jackets and boots so that they could step on me. I, us as a collective whole and not as an individual. <clears throat> Listen, I get it. I'm down bad, but I actually do like this skin idea for Widowmaker, all because of the helmet, surprisingly. While the attire is very, um, tasteful uh, the helmet is a nice cool take on Widowmaker's visor because in case you guys don't know her helmet kind of closes in on her eyes to give her the infrared vision for her ultimate so if we were to have a biker helmet where the flap just literally goes in front of her face not only would it work functionally but it would also work functionally for the skin idea itself <laughs> plus I also love how the concept art transformed her sniper to take the form or the silhouette of a motorcycle which I mean if you look at Widowmaker's snipers to begin with it already kind of looks like that so transforming it to look like a motorcycle i'm sure wouldn't be too far-fetched an idea and then of course throwing on the black leather jacket replacing her spider tattoo with just her biker gang but if you guys thought i was down bad with the ferris skin <laughs> just look at this mercy skin Oh, what's the matter with me? <laughs> hey, 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 I don't want to hear it, all right? I know you clicked on this video after seeing the big titty goth mercy in the thumbnail and think to yourself, man, I would love to have that woman ruin my life because I know that's what I thought when I saw that skin. No, my God, bro, you act when she looks so bad. Yeah, just as bad as your taste in women. How can you look at this beautiful goddess and not want to take her home with you and just pet her and love her and... <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. This would be a good take on a Mercy skin, all because it would break the internet. If people were to see a big titty goth cat Mercy skin, all the people that left for Apex and Valorant and Warzone, which I doubt anybody that was playing Overwatch went to Warzone, would be coming back to Overwatch just to get this skin because... 
Look at her! Look! We need specific skins that if you write the name of this skin on paper, in this case, Goth Mercy, that people would go absolutely crazy for. If I were not to show you this skin and just said, hey, there's a Goth Mercy skin coming into Overwatch, you would 100% get it. Even if you weren't a Mercy main, you would get it. And all the Mercy mains out there, all my girls, gays, and theys, oh my, oh my god, dude. <laughs> there, there are, there Give me uh, Blizzard. Here's my here's my credit card. Give me it. Give me the skin. All right, enough simping. Now let's move on to an Echo skin. I love a good Echo skin because not only is she the newest here in Overwatch, she came out in April of last year. It's sad to say that she still is the newest hero. But something that can cure my depression is by giving us a brand new Echo skin in the form of Galaxy Echo. The concept of the skin would be extremely simple, turning all of the white parts of Echo into a galaxy. You would see various moons and stars throughout the whole entire skin, and every single time you move, the galaxy also kind of moves. It's kind of inspired from the idea of the 2020 All-Star skin for D.Va, where the pants every single time D.Va moved also moved as well, showcasing different stars and patterns of the galaxy but this would actually make sense because echo literally flies in the galaxy so let's throw it all the way back to 2013 and let's give her the galaxy pattern skin the next skin i want is for sigma now i suggested this idea for the 2021 archives event and i was sure that they were going to bring it and of course we were disappointed on multiple levels man the archives event sucked but surprisingly the anniversary event brings a lot of like archives type skins like like the Masquerade Reaper skin, that was a callback to the comic that released a couple of years beforehand. But I would like to see the original look of Sigma, and we would name this Cybrandicuper. That's his real name. If you watch the origin story for Sigma, you would know that at one point he was a dashing little Dutch scientist. All he wanted to do was discover gravity and not be bothered by any of the sounds in his head. But then sure enough, he got schizophrenia. But this is going to be calling back to his younger days and a more snazzier looking Sigma deserves to be looking pretty on the battlefield. Now, why should he get this for the anniversary event and not the archives event? Because we need actual good skins for the anniversary event to make up for this year's archives event and i feel like this would be a good one for not only sigma mains but also people that actually appreciate the lore in overwatch but going back to another girl that hasn't received an anniversary skin sombra sombra skins are always making her look so fly but she hasn't received an anniversary event skin where they literally make every single hero look so good well why not give her the bad gal skin to showcase her more edgier side sombra is high key a bra girl no matter how much she wants to be a little ooh, she can't no no she's not built like that and that's okay so how about we embrace her bra girl side with this skin first and foremost with a wacky haircut i mean summer always has some sort of new hairdo with the rhyme that i mentioned before like the white like outward hair and then with talon you have the justin bieber hair but with this we got the shaved off side because that's always her signature look but she has a blonde ponytail taking a page right out of good old mercy's hair book and then for the rest of the skin Skin, we obviously have the cyberpunk look. I mean, she's always high tech and digital, even when it comes to her clothes. She's got tech wear with the skirts and the and the thigh high socks, and even her shoes. What, what are those? Are those Adidas or, or Nikes? They looking good, man. I love cyber skin. Hey, but you want to know what I love more than good somber skins? Rodog skins. <laughs> I'm capping. I like somber a lot more. But I think I would like Rodog a bit more if they made him look all dapper, like in this skin. Blizzard seems to be moving away from Rodog shtick being all serious and gross and hardcore with the recent Pachamari skin I think they really let Rodog's softer side express itself a little bit more. People love to see Rodog be silly as shown with the Pachamari skin so with the dapper skin not only would it be seen as a little bit more formal and presentable someone that you would want to bring home to mother but it would still have that Rodog taste because his belly is fully exposed. He tried to find a suit that would fit him and while we're all body posy here it seems like a lot of tailors aren't so he found the best suit that he can and, and trying to present himself in a way that you won't totally judge him if he is on the red carpet accepting an award for 
what, biggest Pachamori fan or, or biggest simp? Nah, I get that award, buddy. But I especially love Dapper Rodog all because the accessories, which is the main reason why I love Rodog skins to begin with, is just to see what they do with his tattoo or his mask or most notably with his hook. And here it's one of those, I, I don't know what you would call it, like the red velvet rope things that you would see at movie theaters. Well, now it's his hook. But so far we've talked about girl skins and we talked about guy skins. What about Omnic skins? Because Omnic lives matter. Let's give my boy Zenyatta another anniversary skin with Mushroom Zenyatta. They don't give Zenyatta a lot of psychedelic skins. Well, let's literally give him the most psychedelic type skin that you could ever give a hero that is all about peace and prosperity. A big old mushroom head. Wait, 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 pause on that pause. See, I like the idea because it seemed fitting for Zenyatta's personality. Someone that would literally just meditate in the middle of the woods right next to trees and mushrooms and potential werewolves, which is Bob, basically. <laughs> but who's to know what we'll get this anniversary event? Maybe we'll get Zenyatta in his mushroom skin, or maybe we'll get Biker Widowmaker, or better yet, what about Cat Goth Mercy? Please, Blizzard, please. I'm so down bad, but I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm looking forward to this year's anniversary event because they better kill it in the skin department because, well, there's nothing else that they've really been killing lately. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More of our videos to come and bye.